Hi, I'm Rick Dyer from Impro Insurance Group. And I'm Kate Frazier. So we have something a little bit different for our introductory call. We hope you enjoy it. I'm going to be playing Kate's home care and Rick is going to be the agent that comes in who's reviewed my policies that I provided him the night before and we're going to be talking about insurance. Sounds good. Thank you for sending those policies over. Do you still have time to go through them? I do. I appreciate you coming by and just a heads up, I'm totally wearing a lot of hats today. I'll be taking so, some calls while you're here. So please don't think I'm rude, but I got I got to multitask. Totally used to it. Let's go for it. Let's do, and I got a call coming okay. in, so sit tight. Don't go anywhere. One okay. Hey, Josie. Oh my goodness. Well, why not? Well, if you were 94, wouldn't you want to feel the wind in your hair too in a golf cart? Yeah. No, just buckle that boy up and he'll be fine. Stay off the expressway. All right. No, have a great time. All right. Thanks so much. Bye. Wow. Golf carts in Florida. Who knew? Don't you know it? Yeah. yeah. There's plenty, plenty to be seen. Well, that's one of the things I want to talk to you about. That's kind of a unique risk and I want to make sure you're properly covered for that. Well, Rick, you saw my policies last night. I'm well over 10 grand on my liability and there's definitely, I know for a fact there's higher non on auto on there. So I didn't, I wouldn't have suspected you would have an issue with that. Yeah. Risks like that, when something was to go wrong, I just want to make sure you're covered, your employees are covered, and your client is protected as well in case something happens. We definitely need, I guess we should have a conversation because it's definitely not the first or last time that's going to, I'm going to give it that call. Okay. Oh, sounds good. I got another call coming okay. in. One second, it's my care coordinator. One second. Hey, Steph. Okay. Oh, no. Is Sally okay? Well, of course she got her trying to catch Mr. Jones. He is not a small guy. Okay. Well, is she headed to urgent care? Okay. And how's Mr. Jones? He's, he's okay? Okay, good. So I guess you'll just be uh, finding someone to hopefully take her shift tomorrow. Yeah, hopefully she's not as small and petite as as, as, uh, as uh, Sally was. Okay. Okay, well, you just let me know. I appreciate it. Thanks for... Okay. Have a great day. Bye. Oh, no. Sounds like a cop thing. Oh, no, 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 no. I, these are 1099. So I'm, I'm oh. in the clear bullet, like dodge a bullet that one. Not, wow. not a concern. That really answers one of the biggest questions I had. I know she had 50000 in payroll, yeah. but she had $2 million in sales. Oh, yeah. Are a lot of employees 1099? Very much so. <laughs> wow, that's definitely an area we should really dive into. I wouldn't have thought you had an issue with that policy either. Well, 1099s can be very tricky. What usually happens is a caregiver gets injured, they're going to get asked, hey, did this happen at work? Mm -hmm. They're going to say yes. It's going to be a real mess for us to sort out. It's better if we have that conversation first and figure out the best way to protect you. I do want to make sure that everyone's taken care of. So, no, that's definitely a conversation we should have. Oh, here's a, my, my uh, staff member, Bobby. One second. Okay. Hey, Bobby. Where do they want to take you this time? Fraser Island, Australia? Oh, stop it. Where'd they take you last time? I'm looking at that snake figurine from Snake Island, Brazil. You are so well-traveled. No, you're better traveled than my grandpa who was in the army. Yeah, I know, they adore you. That's so exciting. Well, you just keep me posted. I can't wait to hear more about it. Fantastic. Okay, thanks, Bobby. Ciao. Wow, Brazil, Australia, some amazing <laughs> yeah. trips. No, seriously, they adore her. And I know what you're gonna say, you're gonna give me some like some warning uh, about how fast my clients can be like, poaching my caregivers, right? Is that where you're gonna go? Well, that's definitely concerned. I'm more concerned about the travel. Oh, well, it, it, it didn't used to be this crazy. It, it started with going to somebody's property on the lake and then it turned into going to a wedding or a graduation party across the country. So it's really just recently evolved to this. People wanna go places after COVID. Yeah, and I definitely understand that, but even interstate travel can cause issues for a caregiver. We should really dive into this, especially if we're going to have international travel. I totally involved. hasn't thought about that. No, I appreciate you bringing it up. We should definitely talk more about it. Do you think you'd be open to kind of starting from the beginning and kind of diving through all this? We absolutely should. Yes. Sounds great. And if you'd like to get some of these in information and answers, please stop by our trade show booth this week while we're in town. Looking forward to meeting everybody. Bye, guys.